Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit collection templates. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that I would like to point out is the terminology that we use here at My Designs. So what we like to call this here, where you see listing, inventory, and pricing, and keyword, or keywords, excuse me, is data sets. Um, here, where you see title, tags, and descriptions, these are fields. Now, underneath our image that we have that we're working with here, where you see these additional mock-ups and empty slots, we call these file slots. Um, these are for anything like your print files, your mock-ups, uh, videos, and things like that. Now, in order to make any changes to this template, all we have to do is go click this button in the top right corner. I do want to point out that this template is set up specifically for Etsy. Um, if we wanted to change that for something like, let's say, Merch by Amazon, uh, we would just go ahead and click template here. And now that we're in the template, if we want to change any of the data set, let's just say right here where you see listing, we want to change the name of that. All we have to do is click the pencil and then just change the name and click update layout. Or if we want to delete any of these, we can just press the X button. Uh, as far as fields go, if we want to make any changes, we can just click update field. Um, if you want to add additional file slots, you can do that here. Let's say we wanted to add one more that says mockup 11. We can just go ahead and name it, click plus, and you'll see it adds there. Uh, if we need to drag or drop any of them into different um, <clears throat> in a different order, we can go ahead and do that. And then you'll see that this template is set up for Etsy right now with the title, tags, and description. Um, and we want to get it set up for Merch by Amazon. So we can either do this ourselves by just deleting the field and then go into Add Fields here. Uh, we would name this one. I think there actually is a brand on Merch by Amazon. I don't remember the amount of characters, but I want to say it's 24 and the field type we would leave as text. And then we just click add. And now you'll see it added our brand field there. So that's one way to do it. Uh, we do have a quicker way that you can do this as well. If you go to under save templates here at the bottom, you can just click load templates. And if you, uh, you can either search this or you can look for it, but I'm just gonna search merch. There's Merch Titans Automation, Merch by Amazon. So you'll see here, there's already a template set up with the title, brand, feature bullet one and two, as well as a description. So all we have to really do is click install here. It'll show you the changes that are going to happen. And then we can just go ahead and click install. Now you'll see that is how easy it is to update a template. Um, like I said, this was one we had already set up. If you wanna just make changes to your own, this is how you can do it. And then once you make these changes, let's just delete a field so it'll let us save it. You have to save the changes to the template. Um, I recommend only using this one. It, it says recommended next to it. If you use this, you'll delete all of your data that you currently have in the collection. So if you, if you have a bunch of designs you're working with already, make sure you select this option. You can click update template and you'll see now it deleted our description field. Now I also wanna show you how you can save your own custom templates as well as what you can do with those saved templates. So I'm gonna go back to the top right corner, go into templates here. Let's say that we wanted to um, apply a description to all of our listings inside of a single collection and we were setting up this collection to be for t-shirt design specifically. Uh, a lot of people use the same description for t-shirts across the board. So let's just say this is my t-shirt description. And obviously this is just an example, whatever yours is what you would put here. Um, but we can actually go ahead and click save changes now. And then we'll go ahead and actually update design values. What this is going to do is apply this uh, to the current listings we have in this collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click update template. And now you'll see under description, it applied this to all of my listings. Um, and any new listing that I add into this collection now is going to apply the same description. So it's super helpful if you have things like, you know, you're telling people what type of products, or excuse me, what the t-shirt's made of, um, the size, like if it runs small or runs big, uh, anything like that. But now we're also gonna go back up to templates and you can save these templates so that you can load them for a different collection if you would like to. And we can do that by going to the top left corner here, clicking save as private. And we'll just go ahead and name this thing something like t-shirt template. 
and then this is my t-shirt template. And we'll go ahead and click Save. Now that that's saved, if we ever want to load this template into a new collection, we just go to the bottom here, click Load Templates, and under All Templates, we're actually going to just switch this to Save Templates. And you can see it's actually already the top one here. All we'd have to do is go ahead and click Install. It's going to show you the changes. Obviously, this isn't making any changes because this is, one, this is the one we currently have installed. But once you click that button, it will go ahead and add the description you have saved into the template uh, to all of your listings and then all your future listings as well. So I hope everything in this video made sense. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please give it a like. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.